Intermittent fasting continues to grow in popularity. If you're unfamiliar, it's, it's a pretty simple concept and there are a number of ways that you can do it. A registered dietitian expa explains the possible health benefits. Time-restricted eating is probably the most popular type of fasting. This is keeping your eating, your calorie intake to just one um, window during the day. So most people who do this try and do it within an eight hour window. So they only allow themselves to eat within eight hours. Um, periodic fasting is when people kind of look at the week as a whole and they choose one or multiple days to either not consume any calories or consume a very low calorie diet that day, like 500 calories. All right, so that's the difference. That's uh, that's Alexis Suppen, by the way, with Cleveland Clinic, who says that people who follow time-restricted eating may feel less hungry throughout the day. It can also potentially reduce insulin resistance, but research on the overall health benefits has been pretty mixed. She says that you should be cautious if you're trying to use intermittent fasting to lose weight and stresses it's not a magic formula and that you still need to follow healthy eating habits. It can, however, help people stick to a schedule and avoid late night snacking. You still need a well-balanced diet. You still need to kind of be mindful of the foods you're choosing, but it can be a really beneficial rule for people um, when they're considering lifestyle changes. So a lot of people do like to do time-restricted eating just because it's a simple rule to follow. There's not a lot of like calculations or stress around it. And she adds that people need to talk to a dietitian or a doctor before really trying intermittent fasting because it can be dangerous for those with certain medical conditions like diabetes.